So without having to do any coding, I was able to add this authentication screen to my application using Amplify and AWS Cognito. And that's the thing that AWS uses to store users for you and allow you to do authentication and create accounts and whatnot. And they'll handle all that stuff for you. So I'm gonna show you how I built this little thing right here. Well, really, I didn't even build it. I just ran a few commands and this thing pops up automatically. So I'll show you how you can get this working in your own application if you'd like. So here I have the application that I have been building with AppSync and all I did was run amplify at auth in the repo and then I accepted the default uh, configuration for Cognito. And then I just pushed this to the cloud with amplify push and it generated all the things that need to generate on the cloud. Now it took actually a little bit of time to create all that stuff compared to creating the API, um, but it's all up in the cloud. Who knows exactly what it built for me. But now what I can do is just add this with, with authenticator component from AWS Amplify React. And then I wrapped it around my application here. And so whenever I come to this URL here, so just come to localhost, it loads this little screen here to say, hey, you need to create an account or you need to log in to be able to access this now. And so I've never logged in or created an account now, so I can click this create account button here and I can create a user. Um, so I can come over here. When I create accounts for these sort of things, I like to use a service called 10 Minute Email or the something like it. Basically, it just gives you an email for 10 minutes. So I'm going to copy this and use this to just log in or create an account for me. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And uh, now I want to create my account. Now when I create my account, I actually get an error. We can see the password is not confirmed. I need uppercase letters. So cool. Um, let's add that. I can create my account um, and now it's asking me to actually confirm my like email or my uh, to put in a code so in a few seconds well actually it already popped up we get a confirmation email and I can use this code pass it in here and I can confirm my account now I need to pass in my email or my username so let's copy this and then my password let's this is what I use for my password and then I just added a capital letter at the end. Um, and now I am authenticated and I can see the application that I built before. Now I didn't add any permission stuff on these operations here, but you saw I was able to add that. And now if I refresh the page, it's gonna know I'm still logged in now. So how does it do that? Well, it adds a cookie right here. Well, not a cookie. I think there's an option to do cookies, but it adds, if I go to application after hitting inspect, I can see in my local storage, I have a bunch of junk. So here AWS adds a few cognito things and values and here are all the values that it creates for me. Um, and so that's how it knows who I am and how I'm logged in. And it saves that and basically checks that with this component over here, this uh, with authenticator thing. So that's pretty nifty. So I didn't really have to code all that and it added a create user account. I could also forget my password or reset my password if I wanted to. It sent me a confirmation code, which is really cool. So I already had that set up. Um, and then I was allowing me to log in and I was able to then stay logged in, which is nice. So that was pretty cool with me not even have to add anything. Now I'm sure there's a ton of customization I can also do on this. And I've been kind of just playing around with AppSync, seeing if I would like to use it more. And uh, I think there's a lot I can explore with this and I want to spend some more time uh, building a small little project with this. So I'm going to go look back and uh, see what other projects you guys have been wanting to see me make in a little bit. And I think I'm going to make one of them with AppSync because I'm liking it and I kind of want to explore more of how everything works with it. Um, cause, and it's basically just going to be mostly a front end series because uh, the back end is going to be able to just be created from AppSync pretty easily, including a pretty nice authentication system um, right off the box, which is super nice. So they do all that for us. Um, so as far as what's next, let me know in the comments below if there's any kind of projects you'd like to see. I'm going to look back on what I've seen before you guys commenting about. Uh, I want to keep the project relatively small compared to some of my other larger ones. So just uh, that's keep that in mind. Um, other than that, I don't know if I mentioned, but I have all this code on GitHub if you want to see how this stuff works. Uh, and that's it.